I, th- I thought about something growing up, talked to dad this morning, and it hit me like, like a ton of bricks. Now, my dad loves me, and, and uh, with that comes the course of correction. You know, when you kind of get out of sorts, you got to get pulled back in line a little bit, right? Uh, that's, that's what it does. But I remember growing up, and y'all tell me if you can relate to any of this. So uh, let's say you're 9, 10, 11, shoot, I was 15, 16, and uh, dad tells you no to whatever request you've made, right? Well, did you argue back with him? Some of y'all may have, and I'd have picked myself up off the floor if I'd have backtalked. He he would say no, but uh, at least I had that uh, fear in a loving way of that. It was yes, sir, and no, sir, and yes, ma'am, and no, ma'am. I'd probably uh, got way better back-talking him than talking back-talking mama in his presence. But he knew, for whatever reason, that his answer needed to be no in whatever situation it was. And I, if I, if I got brave enough to even just meekly ask him why, usually his response was because I said so. Right? Just simply that. And that was as good as it got. And you didn't push it any further. But I look around at today's society, and it's been this way for eons, but I guess it's more exposed with social media and, and our speed of communication and thoughts. So many people question why. And when we're told no, because it's good for our betterment of our living, we're wanting to question our Heavenly Father and want the answers. And he's put it all in his book. We wouldn't dare talk our earthly father back talk. But we think we've got enough gumption to backtalk the creator of this universe. In your high school years, of course, a lot of us are sowing wild oats, those that don't have any sense. But let's say you wanted to go to a little old get-together or party with your buddies, and Dad said no. He just knew better for some reason. He had more facts than you did in life, just like some of us do today looking back. But now you, you bucked the system, and slipped out the window and went on to the party anyway and got in a whole heap of trouble, not from sneaking out the window, but from the crowd you was running with. I've got a buddy sitting in the penitentiary today, like a son to me, and uh, hopefully uh, he, he gets out at some point. Sad story, <clears throat> I mentored him at a job there in Central Texas and he was young and had a family, beautiful family, and uh, just had a few little wild oats in his in his system still. And uh, ran around with an old boy that uh, didn't have no sense and strung out on drugs. And, but that was his high school buddy. Well, one evening, uh, his high school buddy decided to go give him a little baggie of stuff you put up your nose and didn't have a ride. So my buddy took him over there to this house and a little town. His friend went in the house and was in there an extended amount of time. And, when my buddy walked in to check on check on him, an older man lay dead and dying there on the floor. My uh, friend of mine got wrapped up in it just because he was there and they were scared, didn't report it. Bad deal. Just shows to, goes to show he had it all and now he's lost his, his family and his freedom. Uh, I guess some would say rightfully so, just by association. Dad's words always have ring true to me, and I hadn't always listened to it, but uh, birds of a feather truly do flock together. And uh, that's, uh, unfortunately, sometimes we get caught up in a situation we didn't mean to, to be there, and by the eyes of the law, you're just as culpable. But uh, got to be careful going against our Father's instruction, especially our Heavenly Father's instruction, right? <laughs>